Uh, good afternoon, Andy here from Dramatic Aquatics. And today is Saturday, we've just popped in for a quick hour. Well, it's been three hours. Um, but the shop is now starting to look more like a shop. So Dan got all of his work done. That's some has got its front cover on. Got another box underneath here. Ready for some of our stock. Tanks are all tested. They're running. Liam's just on sorting out this sump over here. This one's for the discus. So he's on doing that one. We've got that one there left to do. And that's us ready then. The tank that we built on Thursday, sorry about the video for Friday, it didn't happen for the simple reason. The video from Thursday would have been 20 odd minutes long, took 28 hours just to upload to YouTube. There's Liam got the right idea. Coffee time. Fantastic. So we've got the build, big tank built and what we've done is we've put the bracer in now. If you can see that, and that just gives us some way for the lids to sit on. We haven't put the bracer on on this side yet because we need to wait for this one to dry so we can pinch these bits of timber which it's resting on and put them across the other side. We've also got the weir to go in, so on here we've got two 40 mil holes in a 25, well, for 40 mil fittings in a 25. So we've got the outlet into the sump which is underneath here. Again this sump is six foot by two foot. Nice and large. So one of those 40 outlets is for the water into the sump. The second one will be for um, in case it floods. So an overflow and the 25 is for the water going back in. So built the weir. We actually built the weir last night. So that's it here, made out of glass. And all we need to do now is to get some of the forex board around there with a nice comb in the top. And I think we'll give the big tank a black finish. So when you look at it from here, we're actually four foot wide. There you go, I can just squeeze it into the frame. And then it's quite an impressive 2.9 meters long. Now people were asking what kind of silicon we used. And for this big tank, we've actually gone for the better aquarium silicon. I've never used this silicon before, so it'll be interesting to see just how it holds the water. If it holds the water, if it doesn't, there'll be three and a half thousand litres all over the floor. But it's looking good at the moment for that silicon. So that's what we've used to build a big tank. We're probably going to give it at least two weeks for the silicon to cure. We're waiting for the electrician just to wire us up now for the electrics and then we'll get some warm water in these tanks and that'll stop a lot of this condensation that you can see which is really badgering us for putting on the LED lights. So as soon as we've got electricity and Darren's been back in and got all the all this nice wood floor and it actually is but that goes onto the ply board here once that's all finished and looking good then we will be open. So we we're hoping to get open by yesterday, which would have been Friday. Didn't quite happen, like I said, due to the electricity. Uh, we can't put warm water in these systems yet. The guys have still got to bring the ceiling back. And I was watching them this morning doing a turtle live on Facebook. So check out Illuminum wa Illumination Wall Art. And you can see how the ceiling's progressing as they are doing it off-site now, somewhere a little bit warmer. The plant tank's ready to go. So, like I say, it's Saturday. So hopefully we're going to get finished in the next 10 minutes or so. And then we'll be away home before it gets in dark. So thanks again to everybody for liking and subscribing. And don't forget to give this one a like as well. And we'll catch up with you guys next week. We should be able to see all of these lit up with the LED lights. Hopefully the back end of the week the ceiling will be up. We will get this fish emporium open one day before Christmas. Thanks again, folks. Enjoy your weekend. See you soon.